these fun things. Um, most of my memories, like before my teenage years, I guess, are very much like feelings as opposed to being, you know, pictures and events and people talking to me. It's like, I remember, you know, the, sen the texture of my Nana's really nice entryway carpet while listening to like Nat King Cole over her big speaker system when I was a kid. I have weird, like that's memories that just have stuck with me. I don't, I don't like crave them or look for them, but those are the ones that I'm like, I remember you had this weird carpet in the house. Aw, Nubis, I won't argue that. I stick to some pretty specific subreddits, but I'm sure there are some dangerous places. I I wouldn't. I'm sure it's there. Sadly. You're already stunned like a bun. Dude, and music. Like, my whole family is super musical. Like, I've told you guys that before. I think all my aunts sing opera. All of them. Like, they're incredible. My Nana sang opera. My grandfather had a beautiful voice. He sounded a lot like... um. Frank Sinatra had like one of those crooner voices. He could sing incredibly well. And so we always had either people singing or music on all the time. So, so many of my memories are littered with very specific music. On archive.org. Oh, dude, it's going to be so cool. I remember trauma that started at three. My survival mechanisms kicked in because there's about a decade of black. I can't remember anything with few expe expectations, Katie. Exceptions. That's kind of... I don't think mine's, like, blacked out, because I definitely remember things, but, like, they're, like, for instance, my mom is not in a lot of my memories. She was my sole provider for the vast majority of my life, but she worked so much, and most of, like, the either terrible or wonderful things that happened to me, she just wasn't there for, and those are the things that stick, and so I just don't have very many memories of my mom when I was young at all. We didn't have a video camera or anything. And every once in a while, you know, I'll remember something very random and I'll have to call her and be like, is this real? <laughs> like, what is this thing on my car? And then you have word vomit threads like, how do I tell my boyfriend I want to peg him? <laughs> See, I stick to like our tarantulas, our spiders, our reptiles, our frogs. <laughs> our um, eye bleach is a great one. Just puppies, kittens, baby bunnies. I do a lot of animal. It's mostly just animal subreddits. Our poodles. That's about it. So I don't really see the cesspool of shit, but I know it's out there. <clears throat> it's on it. It's any com any any online community space. <laughs> cough, Twitch, cough. Is gonna have some fucking toxic motherfuckers on it. God damn it, bitch. Fuck. Our rats. I am a hundred percent still subscribed to our rats, even though I don't own them anymore. Hundred percent still subscribed. Look at it all the time. Yep. I love seeing the playgrounds that people make for their rats. It fucking warms my soul like nothing. This is a terrible run. I'm doing so bad. Why, Jesus? God's not real, that's why. Fuck. Um. What are... I really... It's fine, I'm having a really good time. How many times have I said that? How many times do I have to say it before it's not convincing? Ancient barbaric rituals. Can I peg it? I don't think, oh, fuck a dick. Whatever, we're dying anyways. Oh, bitch, what? Really? Wow, the first thing that good to happen all day. Excellent. I'm having a great time. Cause we don't talk about Bruno, no. Oh, this is a terrible run. I don't know what to do. How the fuck do you finish a run with two people? The witch is like the Raw Doll one. <gasps> Hi, Anna Jean. How are you, love? I remember our weird shag carpet and the smell of leather and our old velvet couch. Oh, dude. I can remember the way my Nana's couch smelt for sure. Like she had one of those velvet. It was like a super long, short, low, weird, like retro couch. I don't fucking know, but it was velvet. And I remember the smell of that couch like no, like now. Yeah. Isn't that weird? It's so sensory. I 
I have a couple Houndmasters, but they're they suck. Like they're just I'm pulling terrible teams, so I've been trying to kind of wait for a good one. I literally haven't named anyone anything. I named Viata. I think that's it. I think I literally named someone Viata and Viata died. So now I'm scared to name anything again. <laughs> this is a terrible time. Do either of them have like a takeaway that no? Bitch. You're not diseased, but you hurtin'. Do you have a disease? I don't think so. No. Bitch. This is fucked. Fucked. I'll show you. I mean, if I have to back out, or if we just die, I don't even fucking know. You can look at my list. Like, it's just stress. What the fuck? <gasps> I prevented nighttime ambush, and it happened anyways. I'm jinxed. Do I just start over at this point? This is a terrible time. Yeah, the good one, Knives. The good one. I know which one you're talking. The good one. Yeah. The second one was cute. I get how kids probably like it, but not my jam. Not my jam. Having a conversation about butter. Oh, dude, I remember having a conversation about a, about forceps when I was three with my dad. It's one of the like two memories I have of my bio dad. When I was like three, I went. I was out playing in the woods with my with Jesus these sounds with my neighbor Ginger, and I ran into like a really old ass barbed wire fence that was all decrepit and rusty and in the leaves and sliced my face open like got my lips stuck on it essentially and ginger got scared and abandoned me we're fucked i should abandon this this is a terrible time god damn it um and i just like sat in the woods screaming at some crows that were circling overhead probably planning plotting my death and eating me or something and uh Anyways, long story short, I got stitches, and my dad, my mom and dad were both medical professionals, and so they wanted to take my stitches out for me instead of taking me to the hospital because when I got them put in, apparently they needed, like, seven nurses to hold me down to get me still so they could stitch up my face. I don't remember this at all. And so my dad sat me down on a bar stool with him, and I'm real small, and I remember him being real big. And you guys know what forceps are, like roach clips, essentially, forceps. He had a set of those, and he goes, Katie, do you like these? And I was like, yes, because that looked like a fun toy to like do something with. I have no idea what my plans were. And he goes, you can have them if you let me take those stitches out of your lip. And apparently I just screeched and ran to the next room. I don't remember though. I think it was across my bottom lip. It was like across the fat part of my bottom lip. Yeah, and back in the day, like in the 80s, when I was a youth and getting this done, they didn't uh, numb you. They wouldn't numb the kids, I guess. And so all they did was smear some iodine on it and they were just gonna go for it and start stitching me. So seven nurses later, they got it done, obviously, but. I think this is honestly where my needle phobia comes from. Cause I have like a legit, like I faint when I get shots. Yes, I did get vaccinated and boosted, still fainted every time. Can't help it, but I think it literally came from that. Because, like, a true phobia, if you're familiar with, you know, phobias, you're not born with them. You have They have to, like, occur from something. Some sort of trauma or noted event must happen to scare the literal shit out of you. Fuck a clock. I'm having a bad time. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how it's happening. This is a terrible time. Yep, and that's what's crazy is by the time I was 12 and got stepped on by a horse and had a bunch of stitches in my face, dissolvable. Like, they just disappeared out of my face. It was crazy. I never went back. Numbed up like crazy? Where the... Maybe... I don't know why they didn't do mine. Interesting. Nope, I got nothing. And my mom said it was normal, though. Because I went to her hospital she worked at. Ooh, on a, a dog bite? Fuck that. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. Thanks for the babies, Mebo. I know I heard fucking something, you sneaky hoe. Thank you. I remember being in a baby carriage, looking up at my mom and sister, and my sister insisting that she wanted to walk me. That's kind of fucking precious. I have some pretty weird memories of being really, really young like that. Like, 
I was like, I should think I should abandon. This is just terrible. There's no way. I mean, there's no battle in those two rooms, technically, right? But there's a battle there. And I have to finish all the battle rooms. And if I'd already finished them, it would let me out. But it hasn't. Oh. Thing is, if you die, you lose all your loot. And I think if you abandon, you still keep it, right? Right? They just get hella stressed out. But fuck it, they're all fucking stressed. I said butt fuck. <laughs> they're all stressed out anyways. Two in your head? Ugh. Ouch, 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 ouch. I mean, is there a good side of the bay? Ugh. <laughs> uh, I know, it's terrible. I kicked the eye doctor who insisted she needed to be the one to put my first contacts on for me. Ow. Mmm. Ow. I was, honestly, I'm thinking of taking the chance just because it's not the best loot. It's not like I found a fucking secret room with those, th those like, 13, whatever they are. Are they, like, 3,500? They're worth, like, 3,500 a piece. I haven't found one of those, so it's not like I'm, like, loot. I'm just going to do it. Because they fucking suck anyway. I mean, this guy's pretty good, though. This guy does hit hard. I'm, and if we abandon, we get to keep him. He'll be stressed, but I can fix him. I'm conflicted. Mm. A whole team put five stitches in your eyebrow when you were five? What did you do to your face? Ow. Right, I've got at least two more battles then because there's that hallway and the whole mission is clear up 100% of room battles. And if it hasn't said I've won, that means there's still a room battle somewhere in here. So that means I've got at least two more battles. I have no food. Yeah, I'm leaving. This is terrible. I have no food. I can't do this. I'm sorry. We'll make a new team. This is a terrible time. This is a terrible RNG, this role, really. I agree, Anubis. Yeah, it's just not worth it. I'm, I mean, I'm just going to die. And I kind of want to keep that dude a little bit. He hits hard when he hits. My mom says she remembers me saying undersea boot when I was three, asking if I knew if I knew what I meant. I sure did. Wait, no, no. Undersea boot. Wait. What does that mean? Stop it. What were you saying? Help. Stop it. Oh my god, precious. Cute. Did you love submarines? Or had you just seen one? I'm seriously just curious. My first word was cookie. Stop, Bill. You're gonna unplug my shit and I'm gonna get real mad. Back up. Back up. Mm -mm. Yeah, my first word was cookie. I loved Oreos. Still love an Oreo. They're fucking tasty. I do split them in half before I eat them simply because if you bite into a sandwich of an Oreo, it's going to crumble. Like, you got to eat it in one bite or nothing, and I simply cannot do it in one bite. So here we go. Don't hate the player, hate the game. A fresh irritant to some. Cookies. To this day, I mean, a hot chocolate chip cookie is easily my favorite thing in the whole world. So fucking good. Pico Polo. Cute. I don't think I said anything funny. My little sister did. Like, she called me Kitty for years. She couldn't say Katie. Dude, and now all this... I'm just... Look at this team, though. And just... It's so bad right now. I feel like I just want to start over. I think I might. It's just a terrible time. I don't know. Let's see what we have. Let's see what... Let's see what's in the thing. Yeah, we're having a terrible time. Um, when my little sister was little, she was picking up Spanish from watching uh, Sesame Street all the time. It was pretty cool. She still, I mean, we both took Spanish in high school because that's all there was. The only stitches on my face I've needed were caused by a classmate with anger issues. Oh. I need to get the inside of my cheek stitch. Oh. Ow. I have had so many stitches I could not list it. Like, even from dumb shit. Like, when I was in middle school, I had braces. And I was running in gym and tripped and fell and slammed my face into the wall and my braces went through my lip. That was pretty gnarly. It's just always my face. I go face first into most things. 
life incidences, cock, you know. I'm starting over. I don't want it anymore. That team is terrible. I think it's bad juju. Get out of here. Something's wrong. That was a terrible time. <clears throat> oh my god, I would die. I love, I seriously like, I can't think of a cookie I don't enjoy. Cookies are fucking delicious. And if you make them right, they don't have to be fresh to be delicious. We had a whole generation of kids pronouncing Z as Z instead of Z. Why? Oh, because of U.S. media. Helicopter in German is great. It's Hubschrauber? Kubschrauber? Kubschrauber. I like to say that one more, but. Stop it. Sorry, I have to just watch what I'm doing. Darkest. So it is on the correct fucking thing. I picked up some German when I was in Germany. But I don't know German. I have never taken German in my life. And I haven't really been exposed to it other than, you know, spending a month in Germany. That was it. Das gut. Um... What was the last one? Holes? Crevasses. I'm going to go with crevasses. Oh, wrong keyboard, Catherine. Oh, dude, that's so cool, Anubis. I wish. We were exposed to so much Spanish. I mean, there are, there's a huge community of Spanish-speaking people in Washington State. And so you're just like half your classmates speak Spanish. It was pretty cool. I'll let you guys watch it. It's pretty cool. Troubling serpent like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road. Melons, pumpkins. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps. Other damnably transcendent terrors. This is scary. So steal yourself. <gasps> I didn't touch shit. Well, we're gonna go steal ourselves, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know what happened. I guess it said no more. I did lose a couple frames. I wonder if Zach's downloading a game. That, that would affect this. <coughs> Excuse me. You're welcome. Dude, I watched, I didn't see British television growing up, but my Nana always had like, she, from as far back as I can remember, we always watched, um, you know, the, trying to think what are they called like all those musicals from the um like carousel and south pacific who's the guy who does all the music i just blanked on him hans yep brain farted um i grew up on those a lot and so my sister and i would like speak with that mid-atlantic very very overpronounced syllables are you know everything that fake accent that was made for the old hollywood <laughs> My sister and I did that a lot as kids from watching those constantly because we just didn't have TV. That was all we had. Hans Christian Anderson, thank you. Hans Christian Anderson's musicals. There's so many of them. Kind of, but not British. Like, it was that, I don't know. It was, it literally, you can look up the history on like the mid-Atlantic, you know, Hollywood accent from the old films. And it, they made it up literally four films. It was very strange. Films, they would say, darling, I just don't give a damn. It's weird. It's weird. Transatlantic, is that what they call it? Thank you, Derp. Yeah, trans the transatlantic accent. Yeah. I love Jay. He's so fucking British. It's like painful. Painful, and I love it. It was the received pronunciation. You can't miss a syllable or a consonant. 
all of them are in. Intros are overestimated. I mean, I've seen it a million times. <laughs> I play this game every night on my iPad as I go to bed. This is why I can't sleep at night. I don't know how many times I've restarted this game. Probably disgusting amounts. Have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. Hamlet is just ahead. I love his name. I mean, his voice. His name. Thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Damn, motherfucker! But did you die? Nah, Hex is from my neck of the woods, man. Baltimoreans. But him and Jay are lovers. That's what you're, like, asking. You know what I mean? <laughs> that beautiful sexual tension that forms between two men when one loves the other. Continually it's romantic, really. Destroy them all. There was only one. I can't remember if I, you know what? Fuck it. Who knows? Leave nothing unchecked. I've never wanted to mod the game yet. I don't know, like, what does it mod? I guess. I've never even looked into it. 